Hello all, I figured I'd do a quick match for you guys, and this could be between my newest team on top, which is known as Let's Squish. And on bottom is Soundcaster's team that he hasn't submitted yet, but um, wanted me to test out for him, see if it's any good. It's Shakers, but not Movers. Okay, so, I'm going to show off my team a little bit. I got Squish the Scholar. Squisher the Scholar. Squishy the priest, and squish, squish, squish the priest. I know they're all squishy, quite squishy indeed. Um, basically, I have a team of everyone using lore, so two quake users, two tornado users, for the most part. Um, this one I believe I gave it like Ifrit Odin. I want to say Ifrit Odin fairy bio. This one I gave her, like, Bio 3. Uh, I'm not exactly, um, remember my own team. Wow, that's pretty sad. I should remember by now. So I gave her Bio, I gave this first one Bio and Quake. And then Ifrit Fairy Odin. And then this one, just Fairy Carbuncle. Wow, this one has Bio, Bio 3, Quake. So they're slightly different from one another. Uh, this priest right here, I gave her Raise Asuna, and then uh, Bow to Tornado, and then finally Raise Asuna, and then Bow to Tornado as well. So basically, here I got a team of mages that everyone can absorb each other's uh, Wind and Earth Elemental, and they're also immune to oil because I don't want my Element, elemental Absorb team being screwed over by oil-based tactics. I got counter magic on some of these uh, girls, so I can always counter magic the healing with magic, especially with those that have magic attack up. So I think that would be really cool. It's a fun mage team I came up with. I don't know how well that will do, but we we shall see. For Soundcaster, we got Zeus's sister, the Geomancer. Repeat the mime. Ariel the Scholar. And Ladies Man the Priest. Alright, so. Soundcaster. I'll start with this priest there for a second. We got a sitting priest with Angel and Magic Song. Of course, with White Magic. He's got Kira, Kira to Raise, Raise to Asuna. And the mime can just basically repeat whatever the, the uh, priest does with the Magic Song. Uh, but she also has some magic herself. You know, Mughal, if Shiva, Ramu, Ifrit, Fairy, Carbuckle, Sylph. This scholar with Overwhelm has Bio 2, Mad Science, Maelstrom, Rhyme Bolt. And from the White Magic set, just Cure, Raise Asuna. Fair enough. And the Geomancer, I believe she also has, like, Earth Dragon, I think. Thunder Flare, I want to say. Yeah, the Earth Dragon, Thunder Flare, Bio 2, Quake. So basically, Soundcaster's strategy is gain as much MA as possible with Magic Song and just keep blasting people away with the lores. So we got, so they got the Magic Song strategy. I just got basically all oh, caster strategy. Uh, we'll see how it does. Um, we're gonna go to 113 horror. So this ought to be fun. I mean, this is just a test to see if, uh, how well can Soundcaster's team function. Now, also note, everyone on Soundcaster's team cannot move. They either got Iron Boots or moving with Zero. Ooh, not good for Soundcaster at all. There's an undead proc on the, uh, male priest as well. With the mime down, their offense isn't as apparent. The magic song could make up for it, though. Everyone on Soundcast Squad gets in a magic song. Oh, but here comes the pain. Or maybe not. Oh, wait, the mime might mimic and it could hurt the priest. Oh, no, no, it won't. No, it won't. AI is well aware of the zombified priest. Uh, 
Oh boy. More magic mayhem coming your way, guys. Oh my god, so much mayhem there. Oh, small maps with your kind of team count sound cast doesn't exactly favor you, at least in round one. Uh, we shall see what happens in round two. Alright, round two is about to take place at map 35. Um, Zandlin, Fort City. A larger map this time, so maybe Soundcaster's team can actually stand a bit of a better chance. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, with the team being clumped up like that, it's going to make them very, very uh, vulnerable to AoE attacks because they're not spread out. As it was demonstrated in round one. But we'll see if, um, if you can last a little bit longer this time, knowing that you get the MA saves and the lures that you want to, um... They want to take advantage of. Alright, everyone's getting in on the magic song. Everyone's trying to heal up. Now it's my team's on the defensive. I think that, um, I think it was just so much lore spamming going on. This might keep my team, like, completely stay put. Yeah, double kill. So, l larger maps definitely favor Soundcaster here. Oh, Rhyme Bowl. Haha, <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Well, I healed two of my priests, but it still hurt two of my scholars, so... It wasn't half bad. It wasn't as half bad, I guess. So yeah, once again, back to the healing. To see if my supply can actually move forward this time. Vile for a little bit of splash damage. But it's not going to matter too much with the uh, powerful Maelstrom Lars. And the, and the interest tribute too. Keeping Soundcaster's team afloat. Yeah, I'm just honest, I'm going to be kicking my ass in this one. Oh my god, so much MA saves and distributes. And yeah, that's it. We'll be going to round three. See you there. Alright, tiebreaker. And we're going to be going to our namesakes arena. Arena? arena. <laughs> Why not? Our namesakes map the arena. Alright. So we've seen basically our team strengths and weaknesses there. Soundcaster prefers larger maps. Well, his team would be vulnerable on smaller maps. Let's see how it does on the medium map. Balls to the walls here. Alright, so my team's right now at an advantage. Uh, it's right now four on three.
And it looks like that on medium-sized maps, uh, at least against cat, at least against another castle team, anyways, might not fare them so well. We'll see, though. Ifrit, just because. Ouch! My... Oh, wow, my skull turned to a frog. A bit of a parting shot, if you will. Oh, redirect, though. This could be funny. Potentially. MA save. And down goes the Geomancer. The other thing, too, with the uh, never always lose. Oh, the priest goes down. I think it was due to death proc of Odin. There should be a Suna coming up. Yep. Just add a little insult to injury there. My scholar got defrogged before the power was actually over, so... Yeah, that was actually a bit of a slugfest there. Um, so just take notes that your team excels well and uh, on our large maps. If you go up against another caster team like you did with just mine, you can see that it's quite vulnerable on small maps and medium-sized maps. Um, I mean, the the no-move concept is pretty nice, case with the iron boots and all. But I think it would have fared a bit better if your team was able to spread out. You know what I mean? Um... Because if everyone don't move, you need to have, like, really strong... I mean, you have decently strong sandbag power, but... Uh, if you go up against a team that can match your casting capabilities, then... Uh, large maps with the, with the Mimic lores, yeah, you would win. But on the smaller maps, you wouldn't be able to get a chance to get off... Get, get the lores off, because... Your team's already being targeted, and we're already in range for you to try to attack us with your own... Basic spells, which my team would win against... So, yeah, with that said, uh, GG, um, I do like your team, it could use a little bit of, um, refining, but otherwise, not bad, N not a bad team at all. Uh, if you want to post it, it's up to you. Uh, if you want to see Holy to test against another team on his stream coming up, you can do that as well. Uh, so yeah, hope you liked it.